Alright, I'm going to show y'all how to make red eye gravy, just like my daddy loved to have it. To make red eye gravy, you have to start with country ham. And if y'all are not in the South, what I mean is, is a salt cured country ham. I don't know any other way to describe it. Um, it doesn't work with any other kind of ham, so you can't do the whole sugar cure thing. You have to use the real salt cured stuff, which I think is heavenly. And all I did was put a little butter in the pan. Yes, I have a cast iron skillet. Put a little butter in the pan and really just cook it very briefly on both sides. You really don't want to overcook this stuff. But red eye gravy comes from the Southern Appalachian tradition of wasting nothing. So you're really just deglazing the pan you cooked your ham in with some leftover coffee, a little bit of water, and some brown sugar, okay? So I've got about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I gotta tell you, this is my $100 red eye gravy, and I'll tell you why. When I was in college, well, my whole life, but when I was in college, uh, my daddy was a broadcaster. He was on the radio and, and television in Birmingham, Alabama. And I was listening to him one morning. He had a morning drive time, had a talk show. And I was listening to him one morning, and he started talking about, so half a cup of leftover coffee. He started talking about his mother's red eye gravy and how he'd give $100 if somebody could walk in with his mother's red eye gravy. Well, it just so happened that I was making country ham and red eye gravy right as he was saying that. So, of course, I'm in college, I'm broke, and I thought, whoo, it's just a quarter cup of water. I thought, whoo, I am gonna go get a hundred dollars. And so I threw my breakfast into a container and I went running down to the radio station. And I walked in and he looked at me and he goes, not you, you don't get it. Well, he had so many listeners call in and fuss at him that he ended up giving me $100. He said it didn't count, but I thought that was hilarious that I happened to make his mother's red eye gravy. So this is uh, just the way my grandmother Pearl did it. Let's see. Oh, yum. Now, chances are, because country ham is so salty, chances are you're not going to get any salt. But this is where I tell you to go ahead and taste it and see how you like it. What I am going to do though is give it lots of black pepper. And all we're doing at this point is letting it come up to a boil. We're going to boil it down for just a couple minutes. So I tell you what, we're going to let it boil for a minute and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So we've let our red eye gravy go for just a few minutes while it kind of reduces. I'm going to cut that heat back. And see, this is how you have to serve it. I've got stone ground grits, which I've let sit for just a bit and they've thickened up nicely. And then we're going to come over here and get our country ham on that. Just like this. See, I love comfort food, no matter where it's from. Mm. And for me, this is the original comfort food, cooking what my grandmother made. So we're going to take our red eye gravy. And you want this to be thin, this is not thick. So a little grits, a little gravy, a little country ham, and I've lost my fork. <laughs> so I'll come in here. Mm. I just learned my grandmother did it. 